Aquarius, how we doing? Dad going, doing damn good, ain't you? <laughs> Shit, now. King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Aquarius, doesn't that come up for you a lot? I feel like every time I read for you, I'm reading King of Pentacles, which is tends to be like a business owner there. Wealthy, wealthy family, wealthy man, businessman. I'm a businessman. You could be me, something so clean. Classic man. I'm a classic man. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on here? You got another song. I know you've seen me on the video. True. I know you heard me on the radio. Okay. What's going on with this, y'all? Aquarius, I apologize if I go quiet because I don't want to paint the picture too early, okay? Doing my best to give you a decent reading, Aquarius. I don't like to I feel like sometimes I really attack signs, man. It's hard to get a decent reading out for people sometimes. But um the moon, the nine of swords, and the five of swords. I mean, this is all your energy right off the jump. Most of it anyway. Somebody here is hella scared, man. Afraid. Scared. Nightmares. Competition. Disrespectful. Crazy bitch. Mm. I mean, there's some lies here. And there's a lot of fear. And people were paranoid and scared and competition. Somebody was lying about something for a long time. Lying to themselves. It's all going to be okay. It's working out. We're healing. Lying. Lying about the healing. And then I have a lot of fear and a paranoia. Nightmares. And then it's almost like somebody manifested their own tower moment here. I'm shocked. Cannot believe this. What the fuck is this? Five of swords. Sorry for cursing, but. Good grief, yo. Why do you got so much major arcana? This is a big damn deal for you, Aquarius. What the hell? Fudge. One, two, three, four. Out of six of your cards, one, two, three, four of them are major. I mean, there's just been a ton of fear and anxiety, and I do see a mental health issue here. Somebody here has been lying a long time. Lying about the healing. And it's like my worst fear comes true. This is a fucking nightmare come true. And all this judgment and disrespect, I mean, this, I can't, this is, I can't fucking believe it. Didn't we have this before? I can't. Somebody was hiding something for a while about money. About, it's a very, were they like hiding, this is like hiding a small amount of money, but like squirreling, you know, tucking. Yeah, working. What is this, y'all? This is somebody lying about healing. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. And there's a, there's a discussion here about a very small amount of money. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, but this is a lie. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of fear about some, some something not being okay. And I also see where someone says, yes, it is, but they're lying. Everything is far from fucking okay. Something at work and then huge explosion at work. And this person is really struggling with it. Um, I'm lo like <laughs> losing my breath. This is like trauma, like PTSD about something that happened. It's like all we can do is kind of watch this play out. Uh, there's a lot, if this is somebody watching a fist fight or something, there's not, I mean, it's like, there's this dude, King of Wands, beautiful. And there's a lot of judgment around, a lot of haters around you. You look good. I mean, King of Wands, is. you listen to any of my readings, that's the prettiest dude in the tarot. He's very confident. Um, he takes action. He's known for taking action. But damn, I mean, I worked hard for it. Um, lying about everything in the past, I see, I see someone lying about everything being okay, and everything was far from okay. But this is definitely when we were young, Paige. I mean, this is when I was a kid. Are you, like, someone here is really worried that, um, they're really worried about their current work occupation. This is something that someone does for a living, and they're extremely worried that it's just going to all blow up. This is a very competitive field. It's a very judgmental field that requires hella discipline and I cannot stress to you how competitive the field is. It's definitely a line of work. This comes up for you a lot. Um, this is like someone who gets judged for every little thing you do. Like you can't even say the wrong thing. Like, you know, if you was to smack your thumb with a hammer, it's like you'd say, God damn it, right? And that would be, what? See, we don't talk like that here. I don't know what side of the tracks you're from. Um, someone's definitely lying about where they grew up. And it's like, I'm really worried if somebody finds out. And this is something to do with what we do for a living. I don't want these people to find out, like, that I grew up on the other side of the tracks. Because there's um, someone here that would talk a lot of shit and they would judge me harshly. And right now, they see me in a very good light. They, like, this is a dude that brings the party. He is the party. He's very loud. And when he comes in, people recognize him. Very first thing they notice is, damn, he's fine. Boy's fine. He carries a huge presence around him. This is somebody that when they're standing, they take up a lot of space. And he's busy and he's a dad and he's got shit going on. He's got shit going for him, but I can't stress to you how good looking this boy is. Now that's a good looking man. But there is this fear that it's all gonna just blow up in my face and everything I work for. It's almost like, if this is like negative self-talk, this is kind of what it feels like. This is somebody who is almost, you're afraid to spend a little bit of money on yourself. Because it's almost like I gotta monitor every damn dollar in the account or whatever. Because I'm terrified that this could all go up. And there's like people, there's haters in the background of this dude. They're extremely judgmental of him. They want him to fail. 
They do. They want him to fail. They they want they want him to fail. Who are all these haters? They're so fucking mean. They're so mean behind you. And that's where they belong, by the way. In the fucking back to the left, bitch. Carry these fucking haters. I'm sorry, yo. Carry their stink ass up out of here. Stank, bitch. Somebody here does probably stank, too. I mean, sweating like this. <laughs> You're making somebody sweat. Somebody does sweat a lot at work, by the way. And, um... They've struggled a lot. They are really trying to heal something that they don't talk about. And I'm not trying to call you out, Aquarius. I see somebody here. You remember days that were harder, financially harder. These were days that are financially harder on a masculine energy. And I've talked about this before. Masculine energy values money in a different way than feminine energy does because masculine energies are known to be the breadwinners and the providers and they want to look good and they want you know this is how you be the ladies i know you see me on the video true yeah but you still don't give me no attention mm -hmm. back in the day it wasn't like this and people someone here it's almost like the dude that would sew the alligator on his shirt you know, and lie about it being real. I do see that. I see somebody scared to, you know, spend a dollar on themselves because I'm just not where I want to be yet. Somebody's just not where they want to be yet. And their fear is that all this could go away at any second. And you know, because these haters are behind you where the fuck they belong, by the way. But not only are they behind you, they're on my heels and I feel them chasing me at night time. I feel it. It's like being chased. Somebody could have dreams at night of being chased. Like um, like horses, like hooves, like almost being on the run, like I'm being chased. But this is, it's all mental. Somebody here is really trying to work through their shit. I do see where somebody lied about their status before, about how much money they had. I will say this. This is the recent past, but this was someone, they were younger then. You get what I'm saying? There is shit that this person is healing from that they don't talk about. Now, do they still have nightmares about it yeah because whatever it was it was so bad like it it ruined the foundation like it it ruined who they were it ruined their name it ruined their job it ruined their household it ruined my job my career my whole household and someone here like they have nightmares about this I have nightmares about it. In the current energy, I have nightmares. Like, this could all just fucking collapse. And I have haters in the background. Now, I don't know if they're real or you're imagining it because there's something going on that you don't talk about. Okay? I'm not I'm not even that reader that gets this deep. I'm not. I don't do deep research. I like to stay real general. Mm -hmm. um, this is like fighting a ghost. Maybe you're fighting some type of ghost. It's the five of wands in reverse. It's like you're fighting. These are ghosts of, of the past. These people take cheap shots. This is like sucker punches. And they're taking cheap shots at someone's past when they didn't have a lot of money this person was looked at as like a beggar where this where people had to like help you out and there's this fear that it's going to come out you know that i needed help back then 
This is also people that, that it's almost like you owe them something. I, I don't like friends like that, you know. You don't operate, but you don't owe these people shit. I'm going to tell you that as a reader, you don't owe these people shit. If somebody chose to help you out back then when you was younger, or maybe this was like fucking two weeks ago, and you know what I'm saying? Who gives a shit? Are they keeping score? It definitely, it feels like somebody here is keeping score. They are reminding someone of their past um, when they didn't have a lot. This person, I cannot stress to you how young they were. And this person, this is like barroom brawls, five of wands energy in reverse. It's someone that's childish, you know, that has, um, that's having a hard time healing from a checkered background. You know what I'm saying? And they're concealing a lot of that uh, information from folks. This is somebody who's spending money they don't have because they don't, they, they're pacifying somebody because they don't want any problems. So this person has a tendency to say yes, to keep the peace. But there's an illusion going on around the yes answers with money, even though it's an insignificant amount of money. I'm trying to keep the peace to, I don't want these issues to, um, I don't want these problems to arise because there is a deeper seated fear here and it's almost like I don't want nothing to come to light. There's a reason why somebody's doing this, but they're lying about why they keep the peace, why they give the money, why they're worried about the conflict. This is a big ass lie. Now the person knows the root, they know why they're doing it, but the reason they're doing it is kind of like, I'm trying to protect my job. I'm trying, to, this is an image. I'm trying to protect my job and my image because this person has a new friend circle, a healthy one. This is sad. This person has worked really hard to have a new friend circle, a new positive life, but there's just these old people in the background They're old. They're old. And somebody here is still paying attention. And, and I do need paying, physically paying. They're still... The reason they're doing it is because if the new friend group was to find out about who I really am, it's like being raised on the wrong side of the tracks, yo. And somebody really has come into their own, but you've worked so hard. I can't stress that enough. Somebody's really put the work in to build a new friend circle, new positive, healthy relationships. Okay. All right, what I'm seeing is some haters in the background. They're talking about who you are now. Damn, you look good. But the issue is, say there was a, a work event, there's some type of event where the past people have to mingle with the new people that we deal with, right? Say we're at a wedding. You gotta invite the past people with the new people. I've changed my life. I'm not the same person you remember me as. Little Johnny. I'm fucking full. This, I'm a full grown man. Like I'm looking at a little boy. Right? That used to fight. Carry on and shit. And there's some other stuff going on there. That I'm not going to talk about. Um, but this is a full grown man now. He like with a full beard. And like he's got six pack abs. Like boy look good. Then I see all this haters. This is people behind him that they can't wait to announce to folks, this is backhanded compliments. 
Like, boy, you've come a long way since we was, you know, giving you spaghetti dinners. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, my favorite reader, uh, the ghetto nun, she said, you've come a long way since the pig lay with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing, y'all. Mm -hmm. These are haters that would are waiting for the opportunity to backhand compliment you. And they want to shame you. It's the Eight of Swords with the Five of Cups. They want to backhand compliment you with the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, look, you look so good in this new cycle with all your new options. You look so good. Boy, I remember the truth with the Five of Cups. I remember when you was down and out and in jail. I remember when you got caught up with all that shit, that, that real embarrassing shit. These people are haters, but they're going to do it in a way this is a backhanded compliment. Man, fuck these people. Why are you still, why are you inviting them? Like, why? This is somebody who's so worried about the past mingling with the present that this person has worked so hard. You've worked so hard to make this new friend group. Why are you still hanging out with these peasants? Straight up. These people are peasants. They ain't got shit. They have not changed whatsoever. They thrive on fear and they thrive on backhanded compliments. This is a five of wands bottom feeder energy that you have escaped from but are very worried about because somebody here grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. That's all I can say about that. And now you've come up into some limelight of royalty that you've worked damn hard for, real hard for. This is somebody that would have to go to the gym, like you earn these six pack abs, you earned them. You earn these good looks, I earned this money. This is not a handout. And they, these are people that would try to say, you see who he is today? It's because we helped him. They didn't help you with shit. They didn't help you with dick. what did they do? They gave you a spaghetti dinner. Spirit told me they gave you a page of pinnacles. This is somebody that loaned you what? $10? $100? Boy, that helped. Not that it didn't back then, but this is somebody who's trying to rub it in your face that you wouldn't be who you are today had I not helped you out of that trouble. And maybe that's true, but people that love you, they know better. They wouldn't, they're not, people that love you don't throw up shit like that. And they damn sure wouldn't talk about it in an inappropriate setting. But like I said, this is a backhanded compliment. Your fear is that these people don't know any better. I'm telling you, they damn, they know better. They're doing it to give you a backhanded compliment. They know right from wrong. Thank you. Oh, the spirit backs me up. Ding, ding, ding. They know better. <laughs> Walk away from these losers. I can't even, I can't spell it out. Eight of cups with the five of wands. These are fucking people. You need to walk away from this drama. That's why you got away from it then. You already walked away from these bottom feeders before. Walk away from these motherfuckers, Joe. Bounce. I think somebody got low and I don't even think if you if you already left, you didn't even tell them where it's somebody who left in the middle of the night, packed their shit, and then say you didn't say goodbye. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold bitch. You smart too. Smart as fuck. Queen of Swords, educated, smart, better than these, you know. Yeah, things have changed. Uh, the what you drive has changed. <laughs> these people ain't seen your car in a while and they miss you. They You dipped on them in the middle of the night. You dipped. They're sorry. It's like, man, I haven't seen this person. Have you Have you seen their car? Yeah, I saw their car. Their car, they don't drive that no more. They drive a real, real nice car. And these people are looking up. They're trying to find you. And it's like, you're 
they're heartbroken at the fact that when you left them, when you left them, yeah, you got fine. You, somebody had a glow up and a half. Somebody got real, real fine. <laughs> you did better. It was just, honey, you got to cut the wheat from the shaft. And everybody comes to a point in time in their life where they have to pick a road to go down. And it hurts because you have to sever connections and it hurts this person to go. I'm telling you the future here. Um, somebody is destined to move forward confidently, a lot of confidence. They're destined to have more. You're destined to have a nice vehicle. Um, I do see whoever's coming to this event, they uh, have thought really hard about the backhanded compliments they want to give. They're going to pull up. They've spent a lot of time thinking about the backhanded compliments. Like, for example, when put in the situation where they have to give a response, they are prepared. This is somebody who prepared ahead of time. In case you say this, I'm gonna say this. And even if he says this, this is somebody who practiced with other people. They practiced in a mirror. They've rehearsed what they're gonna say. They will describe you. Uh, Spirit told me straight up, I am talking to a king of wands. Whoever is rolling up to this event will describe you as a knight of wands. They want to discuss who you were as a younger person and that you were a fuck boy or a fuck girl. They're going to talk about the vehicle you drove and they will, this is somebody who has pictures of you back then. They're doing this to hurt your feelings to make you feel bad. Seriously, that's what they're doing. This is somebody who is also trying to provoke you. I mean, Queen of Swords, I was like, well, that's for the tarot reader. Yeah, you damn right. These people want to provoke you. They want you to react the way that you did back then. I'm being told I'm talking to a king of wands. These people, they know you when you were younger, okay? teddy bears and first loves you see that in the background and you left and when you did it hurt these people's feelings it's been a long time since they saw you boy you've changed that's when they make the decision here to say some shit about who you used to be as a knight a younger man younger woman fuck boy fuck girl this person is bitter and angry and cold. It's a cold bitch who is not as dumb as they appear. Now, I'm saying bitch as a female or male because this is some bitch ass behavior. This is clapbacks. It was a matter of time before these people showed up. This is also somebody who would show up to wherever you're at and they will talk about Damn, this is this this place needs a lot of work. They're, yeah. They when they find you, they will put you. This is put downs. Um, this person is very smart and their mouth is very slick. This person does practice on what they want to say to you. Their goal is to provoke you into some type of reaction that you would have had back then. They still think that you're this knight of wands. Somebody who reacts poorly, um, they don't give a response, they give a reaction. They don't think ahead of time. This person knows that, um, you know, this person's gonna duck out with their tail between their legs. I won't see them again. This is also somebody who wants to see what you're driving. What are you driving these days? This person's 
been waiting. They've been waiting on you to give you a little karma. This person wants to assist karma. This is the type of bitch, and I mean that as a male or female, this bitch wants to help karma out. They're going to give karma a little hand. I don't mean to. They're going to help karma out. They're going to speed up the karma here. So you, you did some thinking of your own, and you said, well, it's better off that I just be fair with these folks because I know they're coming, and I'm going to, um, this is somebody, I'm for, I don't know if you're paying for their meal, you're paying for something that, I, there's something that's an out-of-pocket expense for you that you feel like the smart thing to do, knowing that they're coming, is to just go ahead and pre-plan to pay this is people that uh, normally when people come they have to buy their own ticket they gotta buy their own whatever but you know the smart thing to do is just to go you're gonna pay for these folks mm -hmm. well whatever this is this is an event this is some type of big event that y'all are doing and you know that you're expecting these people to show there is a very cold um it's like I'm acknowledging they're there. I'm going to pay for them to come. But I keep my head down because the, the best thing to do is for me not to make eye contact. They know I'm here. I know they're here. I paid for them to come because this is a big event. This is a big, exciting event. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to make a decision whether or not to walk away. Because these people are anticipate you reacting a very certain. They know, these people know how to push your buttons. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah. They see you as this, they see, they, they whoever these people are. They still see you as this young man. this fuck boy or fuck girl who they still see you as the same person. They see you as an overprivileged kid. This is somebody, this is an overprivileged young man or female, okay? That is extremely gorgeous and good looking and there's some type of event coming up. They still see you the same way. They see you as an overprivileged, um, fast-ass person, fast-ass young man that uh, possibly had a really fast car. You made impulsive decisions, but there's something about the money here. Like, I don't know if you got out of shit because somebody here had an unusual amount of money for a kid to have. And you look good too. So it's like good looks and charm double with double down with the money. You get what I'm saying? They still see you as this as this person. Somebody that's a little bit fast in the ass and has money and that makes impulsive decisions. You know, fuck boy, fuck girl energy. Is this a wedding or something? You know, we show love. I'm anticipating a lot of people to come. I'm anticipating a lot of family to come. Yeah, is this a wedding? Is this a wedding? It's like snubbing certain family that I had to pay for to be there almost. Do you get what I'm saying? The right thing to do is to pay for these people. This is like bridesmaids and shit that couldn't pay for their gowns. Do you get what I'm saying? I know they're going to be there. I'm just going to pay for their meal or whatever. I don't know. But it's like shit that people should pay for. Even if this is like going to a concert or some type of big event. 
And the fucked up thing is, this is somebody who would pay for somebody else's ticket or you're paying for their way because you feel obligated to and it's the right thing to do in your mind because you're trying to keep the peace. And somebody's like, well, that's just my karma. I know these people going to show up and I'm going to be paying for them. I don't really agree with it, but it is what it is. See, something about when these people arrive, they are coming with a lot of underhanded, backbitey comments. Um, whatever I said earlier, the backbitey comments, the backhanded compliments. They anticipate you. They, you're going to come to a fork in the road where you will have, you're going to be forced to take action and these people know you won't they still see you as this young man who has money fast as who makes impulsive decisions there's something that you're going to do if, if this is a wedding you know what i mean because it's funny i got the empress here and somebody's getting a fresh new start at a marriage this is a big damn deal this is somebody who would give a toast and talk about when you were uh, a fuck boy with a lot of money. But hey, I love y'all. Take care. This is somebody that takes a cheap shot at an inappropriate event. Could be an ex-lover who wants a chance at revenge. This is an opportunity for this Whoever this is, either it's family or an ex-lover, because the lovers is a choice between two. Uh, you know, if it's not that, it's it's people from my past, you know, and I gotta kind of I kind of gotta take this one on the chin. The right thing to do is to pay for them to be here. I've paid a lot of money for a lot of folks to be here, honestly. Not that not just these folks, a lot of folks. And there's a fresh new start, but somebody, I do think this is a, a, a marriage. This is somebody getting married. This is, they're going to take their opportunity to get one last cheap shot. They'll talk about hearts that were broken, and they're going to talk about things that are inappropriate that were private. This is the hermit with the, they're going to talk about things that, um, areas of my life that I may have not completely healed from five of cups I mean I was extremely uh, rejected they're going to talk about previous conflicts and times when we were really really hurt and we were forced to hang our head and walk away they're they're going to talk about inappropriate these people are coming the chariot they're coming to talk about inappropriate private things these are secrets that if these people really loved you and there nobody would even get drunk and bring this shit up this is like things we would you know what i mean i take to my grave i love this person i'm loyal to them right wrong or indifferent that's my homeboy my best friend this makes me feel like a best man's speech that somebody's going to take their opportunity to take cheap shots you know what i mean just be careful. I don't know. I don't have uh, any advice because I, I I just wouldn't invite these folks. I don't know what you know. I quit the fuck, man. I don't know. Here, these people want to talk about when uh, somebody lied, steal, and cheat. They want to talk about it. They're going to talk about days when you were a liar, a stealer, and a cheater. Yeah, I remember when you were a kid and you were a liar and a stealer and a cheater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these people are shit uh, They're just shitty. And I do think that when someone was younger, they had these behavioral issues. Yeah. But see, you're smarter now, you know? This is also a cold, bitter-ass bitch who does know better. She's very, very educated. Why is this woman in the tarot? And they're talking about um, somebody's, like, say you bought this person dinner, right? Mm, this chicken, I don't know where you got this from. It's, I think it made me sick. You know what I mean? Lion. Did you steal this chicken? You <laughs> I'm sure they got a deal on this chicken, girl. I wouldn't eat it. You don't know where it came from. Mm -mm. 
Again, with the moon being the first card out. here is very scared because they've been lying about this knight of cups and it's the queen of wands there could be somebody there's somebody here lying about a knight of cups about someone that they're seeing and um this person tends to be a sagittarius queen of wands Somebody here, you know, in the recent past could have lied a little bit, kind of exaggerated the truth. And I see this Knight of Cups offering a lot of love to this Queen of Wands. This is a gentleman offering love to a Queen of Wands. But there was some lies and illusion around these two counterparts. Uh-huh. See, this uh, person, somebody here is uh, kind of embellished about the money. Okay. And they're expecting this Knight of Cups. Whoever, when they show up, they're expecting a bit to see some type of huge, grandiose d display of money. Like this Knight of Cups, which is a younger dude, He's got money pouring out of his pockets. And when you come up, well, don't worry, all expenses are paid. You don't got to worry about anything. We've got plenty of room, plenty of food. We don't want for nothing. All expenses paid. Because he is the king of pentacles. Yeah. So somebody here has been lying about how good they have it financially. And these people are coming to see if it's true. Is Are these people hemorrhaging money? Because there's a queen of wands here that's described a gentleman as a king of pentacles. That he's got, that he's exploding money out of both of his pockets. These people are coming to see. Is it true? Because that's what uh, this person says that you... That she's balling out of control. That she's married to a baller. Yeah, married, Empress. That she's married to a baller. Uh-huh. And these people are looking into her. Because there's been some little white lies here. This person's been lying about how good they had it. I don't know if they're lying about being married. I don't know. But I do see an investigation on her, on the Empress, on the, on the wife. Oh yeah, they're very focused on what y'all doing. On the, they're very focused on the fresh new start of this person. Okay, because this person um, insinuates that there's money hemorrhaging out of the pockets of this gentleman and her, and they're very focused on that. Like, what are y'all doing today? Oh, I don't know. I might go get my nails done. I might. This is like somebody who doesn't have to do a whole lot. They're just not sure what they're going to do today. But whatever it is, they're not going to do a whole lot. Uh-huh. And this person is, this person that they're talking to, this is the Queen of Swords. They're talking to someone older than them about money. Uh-huh. I don't have to do a whole lot. But see, there's a queen of swords here that knows how much, if, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Somebody's been embellishing about how much they make, how, how good they got it. They went out of their way to say that they're rolling in the dough, like they're millionaires. So naturally it's caught the attention because that was the goal of the conversation was to insinuate that they, this fresh new start, they not sure what they're going to do today, but guarantee it won't be much. And this person, um, their attitude has gotten kind of, um, 
pasta diddy. And this is somebody that would be like, how much is it? $50? Is that all? Here, girl. What? That's nothing. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. See, these people know how to. This is somebody also talking about the wife here and squirreling money away. This is an older friend or family member and she's telling her what to do with the money. Because this person just doesn't know. They don't like, girl, you got that kind of money? Listen to me, this is what you need to be doing. And it's something to do with the line of work that these two do together. There's a King of Pentacles here, and he's either dating or married. I think he's married to this Queen of Wands. And there's something to do with the work. I don't know if y'all work together. And it's like there's some type of talk about money. And be smart. Be smart here. This person's telling them how to make how to make a page of pentacles how to make one penny equal two this is how you flip your money this is how you do it what you do what you gonna do you gonna wait on this man to pay you yeah he loves you and everything but listen to me this person's older than the other person and they're telling them this is what you do this is the action that you take and it's like, oh, I don't know anything about that. It's like, no, I'm telling you, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. This is how you turn one penny into two. And it's like, I'm waiting to see. I don't, mm -mm. There's corn on there. I don't know. Um, I do see somebody looking at it. It's, it. it's very around the empress. These are people investigating the Empress, how much she's worth now, because there's a lot of lies and illusion around her. This is like somebody, a pathological, you know. Somebody here's lied a lot about the way they live. That's what I'm going to say. They've lied a lot. They've lied a lot. They've embellished a good bit. Do I think I have a king of wands, a very attractive, works a confident leader, works very hard for everything he has? Yes. Is there any other advice? Can I get some advice for this person? This lady keeps coming up, queen of swords. There's a big old fat lie, and this person is smarter. They're smart, honey. You, this is somebody who's older and educated, and they can smell a lie from a mile away. So they spied because there was a lie sold to them. They got the truth on it. They look at this person as a fucking nut. This person has embarrassed themselves. They also intend on embarrassing this person. This person told some lies. A lot of little white lies. This person, when they show up, they're gonna get the they're gonna give the truth. They're getting their opportunity to give their truth. And they're going to expose that someone's a fucking nutcase. Yes. That this doesn't work. This is somebody taking their opportunity to show someone's ignorance. They're going to show that someone's a big dumbass, that they don't know shit about dick. They're, they're going to announce the truth. They've spied. They know everything. This was a big old lie. This person, somebody tried to lie to the Queen of Swords, yo. Like, this person is built for tough. This person's older and smarter. They're older and smarter. 
And there's somebody here absolutely fucking scared that when they spy, they're going to learn the truth. They're going to learn that I'm a fucking nutcase and that I'm stupid. I don't know, baby. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, Aquarius. Uh, this is your shindig. These are the people that you've chosen to be around. Um... I'm just going to let you know that whatever event this is, okay, there is going to be a lot of judgment at this event. It kind of feels like a, a wedding. People are hang, hanging on. They're stubborn about, you're not going to change the opinions of these people. You're not. Especially an emperor. A father energy. This father energy, extremely confident, and they are going to post about this king of wands. This is a father energy that would clap somebody's back really hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody here has settled. You, you know, they're talking about somebody settling down. I also see someone's father confronting another gentleman. They um, absolutely are going to take an opportunity to do something physical. Someone here has really held on to how they feel. They're extremely judgmental. They have some very firm beliefs here. You will not change the mind of a father. You're not going to change. They absolutely are confrontational with another man. Um, they will take this opportunity to pop off. They, this is like, um, someone's going to take the opportunity, you know, for a fresh new start, possibly in a marriage. They've really dug their claws into someone. This is like a best man speech, and they're talking about somebody taking a fresh new beginning, but this is like a backhanded best man speech. It's judgment on the four of pentacles. They're going to talk about how somebody got their claws into someone, how someone settled. Um, if this was somebody who's previously been, been married, they you, there's a lot of backhanded compliments here. I do see some confrontation by two different men. This person don't even think you're going to change their mind. I do see where there's something, there's something being mentioned about settling. About someone keeping their claws in someone. And I see where tempers will play. There's two different men in there. I just goes. I I'm gonna say this. It's uh, got the potential to pop off. There's two fire sign energies there. Uh, they both care a lot and are very passionate about the subject at hand. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope that helps you, hon. Take care.